The following KQED production was produced in high definition. Hi, I'm Lauren Summer with Quest, and today we're at the Lindsay Wildlife Museum in Walnut Creek, where they rehabilitate sick and injured wild animals found right in our backyards. So who is this beautiful creature? Well, this is our golden eagle here. This is our female. And they get that name from the beautiful golden feathers along the back of their head right here, as well as on the tips of the shoulders and down by the legs. The females average between about 11 to 13 pounds. Pound for pound, she's the largest bird that we have here at the museum. She's about 11 and a half pounds right now. So where did this golden eagle come from? She came in in November of 2005 and came to us from the Lake Tahoe area. And unfortunately, when she came in, she was found on the ground with a shoulder injury. What we didn't realize is that she had a lot of other things going on. She had an infection in her lungs, had mites in her feathers, and a pretty severe bacterial infection in her feet. She will never be released back out into the wild. The main reason being, she doesn't have full use of her left wing because of that injury. So the, do they have some pretty incredible binocular vision? I can see your eyes are beautiful. These animals can see uh, an animal in an open field up to one mile away. If you think about where we're sitting out here in the park right now and there's animals crawling all over the place up in the trees and they can see them just as closely as you and I are seeing each other right now. So can you see golden eagles here in the Bay Area? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the golden eagles are native not only to the North American continent, but right here in the Bay Area. In fact, one of the largest breeding populations of golden eagles is right here in our backyard in the Mount Diablo Valley. If you'd like to meet any of the wildlife ambassadors here at the Lindsay, you can check out their schedules at wildlife-museum.org.